What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to give your images sort of a film look uh, using the split toning setting in Adobe Lightroom. Now, you might want to call this the Lomo look or the cross process look. I don't know, it just gives you that you know very saturated image, it just gives you that film look. And I'm going to show you using this picture that I took in Barcelona. And I've already made a few adjustments to it. I've changed the exposure a bit and the contrast, uh, the blacks a bit and the clarity. Uh, just a little bit. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go close this and I'm going to go to the split toning tab. And what split toning does is it gives you a sort of a hue of a color to to go over your highlights and then another one to go over your shadows. And then you can then change the saturation of those colors depending on how intense you want them. Uh, but Lightroom already gives you these few colors to choose from. This yellow and this sort of light orange this dark blue and then a lighter blue. And for most of my image, I just like sticking with these. I don't like uh, messing with the other colors, but you know, I will teach you guys how to do that in a little bit. So what you wanna do is depending on the feel that you want to your image, and of course, depending on how the shadow and highlight balance is within your image, you wanna choose um, a color for your highlight and sort of the opposite color for your shadow. So a warm color for your highlight or, and a cool color for your shadows or vice versa. And for this image, I really want my highlights to be cooler. Uh, so that's sort of this, you know, all the lighter areas are, you know, going to be considered your highlight areas, all the ones with the whites. So I want that to be cooler. So I'm going to choose the dark blue. And then I'm going to make the shadows then the yellow. And you can see the kind of look that it gave. So it made the sky blue, kept it blue, as well as gave a little bit of blue to the buildings and such. But it gave the trees, which are darker, you know, a little bit of yellow, gave some of the darker areas and the people a little bit of yellow. And it really just boosted the saturation of the whole image because all of the areas that were just white or black, you know, or light and dark, it gave it a bit of color. So it gave more color overall to the whole image. And I'll show you the before and after just to show you the effect that it made just in case you can't see it. So the original image is, you know, kind of plain. I like the original image as is, but I really wanted to give this image a film look, so that's why I put the split toning. And as you can see, it really gives that, that film look. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you make your highlights the warm color and your shadows the cool color. And it also gives you a film look, but it gives you a different feel. And you'll see that in just a bit. So I'm going to make my highlights the yellow, and then I'm going to make my shadows blue. And the colors are also very saturated still, and to me it gives you, you know, that film photography look. But it's, it's, a, it's a totally different mood. It's a little bit darker, a little bit cooler. And to me, although it looks good, it doesn't really reflect the mood that I wanted to. So I much rather have the highlights warm. I mean, cool, and the highlights, and the shadows, I mean, warm. I really like this look a lot better. So now let's just play around with the different colors. So what I usually do when I, you know, want to use a different color is I make them complementary. So with highlights, uh, let's choose a sort of a magenta slash purple color. And the complement to that is green. So that's what we're going to make the shadows. We're going to make the shadows green. And it gives you that a similar feel to the image a while ago. It just changes the colors you know, slightly. So the trees are still um, very warm. It's just a little bit greener now because it's the color that we chose is green. And now that the highlights, they have a, you know, a purplish magenta feel to it. And, you know, some of you might like this feel as well. I certainly like this look. Uh, I don't like overusing it though, but I do like this look. It also gives you that film photography look. And yeah, that's basically it. One more thing I want to show you guys. And this is, you know, this is not a split toning tutorial per se, but uh, I just want to show you that even if you make your image black and white, it still keeps the split, the colors from the split toning. So all of the, the shadows, I don't know if you can see it, but they are like greenish. And then all of the highlights are a little bit purple, magenta, that color. So... The settings for split toning still apply even when you make your image black and white. So to conclude, I just want to make, you know, put this back to how I want it. There with the 
shadows as yellow and the highlights as blue. And there you have it. If you guys like this tutorial, please like the video, favorite the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, visit the Camp Crunch Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for more updates. Uh, the community is starting to grow a lot more. And yeah, you know, Camp Crunch is doing really well. So just thank, thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.